can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. All right, given this right triangle with an hypotenuse of 100 units, then this red segment right here with the length x, this blue segment right here with the length y, and this green segment right here having a length of z, then the question is what is the numerical value of x squared plus y squared plus z squared? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Before we move on to the solution, here is the answer to this question. And the answer is 8,750. That is the value of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Now the question is, how do we get 8,750? Now to answer this question, we will use two concepts. The first one is all right triangle can be placed inside a circle. Now, if we do that, the center of the circle must be the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Therefore, if we connect the other vertex to the center of the circle, it must be the length of the radius. Therefore, we can say that OA must be equal to OB must be equal to OC. Now, referring to our figure, if we put this right triangle right here to the circle, this is the midpoint of the hypotenuse or the center of the circle. Therefore, we can say that the, this y must be half of the hypotenuse, which is 100, and half of 100 must be equal to 50. Therefore, we can say that y must be equal to 50. That is the first concept that we need to use. Now, here's the second concept. The second concept is what we call the Apollonius Theorem. And Apollonius Theorem states that, given this figure, we can say that c squared plus b squared must be equal to 2 times x squared plus 2 times m squared. Alright, so here's the proof of this theorem. But today, our goal is to solve this problem and not to prove this theorem. By the way, I will put this proof at the end of this video. Alright, so let's move on. Let's go to the question and solve this problem. Now, let's use the Apollonius theorem to answer this question. Alright, first thing we need to know is this segment right here, since the whole thing is 100, so every piece or every segment must be equal to 25 units. Alright, now using Apollonius theorem to this figure, to this triangle right here, to this triangle right here, alright, so we have x squared, x squared plus z squared must be equal to 2 times 25 squared plus 2 times 50 squared. Now, let's simplify. 25 squared must be equal to 625. Now, 50 squared is just 2,500. Now, let's multiply. 2 times 625, this will give us 1,250. 2 times 2,500, this will give us 5,000. Now, 1,250 plus 5,000, this will give us 6,250. Now, we have now x squared plus y squared, and we know that y equals to 50. So, using these two equations, we can now solve for the values of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. What we're going to do is to square y equals to 50. Now, 50 squared, we know 50 squared is just 2,500. Now, if we add these two equations, we get x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 6,250 plus 2,500. And if we add those two numbers, we get an answer of 8,750. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the value of x squared plus y squared plus z squared? And our answer is 8,700. And, 50. and as always, we are done. 
Now, here is the proof of the Apollonius theorem. You can pause this video to check this proof. And as always, thank you for watching. See you on our next video.